All right, guys, we're out camping at the lake this weekend just to get a little bit R&R &R time. And uh, I thought I'd show you guys how we make some of our world-famous tater soup. Miss Hannah's been perfecting this thing. Uh, we get two cans of cream of potato, some Campbell's soup there. Uh, works really, really good. And uh, you just got to get all this stuff out and uh, dollop it right on in to your cooking pot there. Uh, we're going to be using a iron pot, a Dutch oven, uh, this weekend on open fire. And uh, it's going to be the first time we test that out on open fire. So I think that's going to be a really cool little extra thing. And then uh, you need to add some creamer to it. And uh, boy, I tell you what, this stuff, when you start mixing all this stuff together, boy, it's, mm, you're talking about some just goodness right here. Oh, yeah, just look at this pouring on in here. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, after that, I'm going to stir it up just a little bit, get some of these juices all mixed up here. And uh, it won't be long. We'll be ready to start adding some meat to this. Uh, a lot of people don't even add meat to their tater soup, uh, but this is something kind of extra that me and Hannah's been doing. Uh, I'll go ahead and add you a cup of milk in there. Oh, yeah, just all kinds of dairy goodness right there. All right, so we went with a little bit of ham here. Uh, once you get all this stirred up, we'll slap some of that ham on down in there and uh, have ourselves some uh, good looking stew here. Uh, tater soup to me, um, you know, after you eat it and it's only tater soup, and it doesn't have any ham or any bacon in it. It just kind of, uh, you know, it's not very filling, but uh, you slap you some ham in there, some ham chunks, like some honey ham, or uh, a lot of bacon in there and uh, boy it just it kind of it kind of takes your tater soup to a whole new level but yeah look at that right there see them big old chunks of meat mm. that way it'll kind of stick with you uh, now this step is very important don't forget to drain uh, your diced taters um, you can do sliced taters or, or diced taters i tend to like diced taters a little bit better because it's uh, a little bit easier to eat um, and also it seems to cook a little bit better as well. Uh, if you do big chunks of taters, you gotta cook it for a really, really long time. And if you're not careful, you'll have some taters that don't cook as good as the others. But boy, look at that right there. Mm. You can just tell. I mean, you can just tell that just by a recipe, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be some heaven goodness right there. All right, yeah. We gotta make sure we get everything off the spoon and give it a couple of extra taps here and uh, we're going to be in good shape. It's about time to look at our fire and uh, see if we got enough embers on this deal. But uh, yeah, check it out right there. Boom. Oh, yeah. All right, so you want to make sure you got yourself a good little fire going. Uh, we made sure the fire had been burned for a little while and had several embers on there. Basically, what I mean by embers is a good amount of coals as a bedding for this thing to cook on top of. Um, fires like this burn really, really hot and especially with an iron skillet or an iron pot dutch oven like this it's going to cook pretty quickly so check this out right here oh ho, ho, ho. yeah look at that steam coming out of there oh yeah it's not a bad day to be camping i can tell you right now you get you some good tater soup going or some good steaks on the grill mm -mm. you talking about a, a happy man right here i can tell you that but uh, this thing is looking good. Uh, you kind of just want to keep an eye on this. We like to kind of bullet for a little while. You don't want to bullet too much or start just burning everything. So I uh, kind of got to keep an eye on it. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. It's cooking really good. So uh, I'll let you guys check out the bus here while Hannah's cooking and uh, taste some of this uh, tater soup. Let you guys kind of see this, get a glimpse of it here. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm, looking good, Hannah doing a good job and then uh let's check out the bus so you guys have been asking about the bus we haven't really made any changes to the outside since the last video you guys saw on it of us putting the diamond plate on it but uh we have made a lot of changes on the inside so kind of going in here uh, we put some cabinets in right here for all of our food storage and that sort of thing and uh we put some bunk beds in right here and a bed in the back uh we've got a, a little bathroom right in here we will build us a room in here in the future and walk on back through here uh, we put us a closet in right here on the other side that's where those um 
uh, handicapped doors are and that's just our outdoor closet where we put our tents and all that stuff we got our tv hooked up um there's just a cabinet up here i put in right now for like the playstation movies and all that stuff and then there's our bed but uh, a lot of this stuff we've done uh, this is a lot of free stuff a lot of very very cheap stuff that we got nothing in here is really expensive that we've done the beds were free um my mom gave us those and then uh we picked this whole thing up right here i think we got it for like 40 bucks but um anyways we're just kind of piecing it together and you guys kind of got to see what we got going on here but uh there is a finished floor on the bottom side of this you guys can see that down there but hannah just put these mats down where it's cold right now we found it best just to put some walking mats in for when cold weather is in so your feet ain't so cold but uh that's it right there uh, we will make some more changes to it it needs to be painted in here and uh, this whole table situation here will be changed and stuff uh, our sink and and all that stuff will be in here uh, this is just a cheap piece of plywood i put on top of this so we got something to camp with but it's just a basic ghetto bus right now but it works pretty good that window back there that's where we normally have the air conditioner at but it's winterized right now so we pulled the air conditioner out and we just got it all covered up but uh that's the bus and uh let's get back to cooking i'll show you the closet and stuff back here this is my outdoor closet um this thing works really really good this is where i put our tent our chairs our outdoor mat and our grill and stuff is sitting over there um this honestly is probably my favorite part of the bus right here just this little closet right here just a cheapo deal that we done and that way all this stuff right here uh, keeps everything separate from inside the bus storage is key and we're trying to get more and more organized with it uh, each trip that we do but again it's just something that we've just kind of pieced together nothing crazy expensive or crazy money into it just something that works and we can go camping in and uh, have a good time and plus pull our race car trailer and all that stuff but yeah guys there you go um one thing i will say these windows here are your worst nightmare when it comes to uh, uh heat and cooling uh that's why we've got that roll of insulation up there it's just that foam uh actually it's not foam it's that bubble wrap insulation we just roll it down covers the windows up and you're in good shape uh you could see it on the other side there on the other side of the bus here i'll show you guys see that's what that is right there that way we can roll it down it covers the windows up see right here how we got it rolled up we just unroll it and it covers those windows up but we wanted to test out this morning waking up and looking out the windows and seeing the woods and all that stuff and it's pretty cool watching the fog and stuff come in but anyways guys that's it for the bus Alrighty, guys uh check this out right here mm, there's just some heaven goodness right there in that bowl uh me and hannah's gonna hammer down and eat some of this food up and enjoy some of this beautiful weather uh here at the campground just kind of getting a break from everything and uh before we hammer down hard on gto uh you guys are about to see a ton of new episodes hit with that thing we've got a lot of new parts a lot of announcements and stuff to make with that thing that's coming very soon and we're really excited and uh so me and hannah said you know what we're gonna take ourselves a little break from everything uh get us a little bit of rest up this weekend before he come back in and uh, really hammer down hard on gto and uh, everything else we got going on in the shop but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you'd like to see more um you know cooking tips and tricks that we like to to eat and uh things that i've found out over the years that, that i really really enjoy and plus it's you know cost effective and uh you know it fills you up it's just a, a lot of goodness in a bowl there but uh hope you guys enjoyed this episode be sure to make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to comment down below let us know what types of food you guys like eating at the racetrack or even heck when you're out camping and stuff uh, i always enjoy coming up with new um recipes and all kinds of goodness but uh, we'll talk to you guys later see y'all thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed to the channel don't forget to go over killmersports.com where we've got all kinds of merch over there and all kinds of high performance products as well and definitely a big shout out to our sponsors and partners. Till next time, you guys have a good one.